you very much for having us. So we are talking about TTIP. It's a great project. What effects do you hope to get from TTIP? You start? Yes. Okay. Then if, you would, if you would um, yeah. look at me. Um, yeah. what, effects, what effects do you expect from TTIP? It will create uh, a lot of uh, new economic activity, um, hundreds of thousands of jobs, additional income for our citizens. But I believe that indirectly it will also strengthen our economy uh, on, a, um, on a global scale. Who tells you that the TTIP will create, as you said, hundreds of thousands of jobs? Where do you know that from? Um, well, we are not simply inventing that, you know. So we have uh, asked an independent study, and that's uh, the result they are uh, arriving at. Uh, the study also says that uh, it would mean 545 euros uh, for a, a household. Now, I don't think you can figure this out up to uh, 5 or 10 euros uh, uh, close, you know, but it, it's obvious that it would have a a beneficial effect also on the income of citizens and also on economic growth. And it will, yes, I, I'm pretty sure that it will create hundreds of thousands of jobs. The agreement we have uh, on our minds would have, I'm pretty sure, would have those effects. Um, let's maybe stick to the effects. You were referring to the study of the Commission, I take it, the CEPR. No, it's a, it's a study. It's a CPR, the CPR study. Been, it's a study that has been ordered by the Commission. We have not been doing it ourselves. Okay. But uh, what does the study say? The study says um, it will be, after the TTIP is done, it will be 0.5% a, a growth in GDP, in European GDP, in 10 years, which means it's 0 0.05 points every year. That's not a big effect, as you called it. Um. Let me just uh, interrupt. Is that the study that we have ordered? Yes, I think. Can I see it? Yes. But you see that 0 0.5 of 13.2 billion, it's about 60, no? And not 120. It's 0 0.59, 0 0.49, right? Um, first of all, you should not reason in percentages, you know? You are doing it, I'm sorry. I'm saying that we will make a way with the large majority of non-tariff barriers in a vast amount of sectors. That's what I'm saying.